we're back we're finally back superman here <laughs> we just got back from an extended vacation a visit to family and friends in canada and the united states but we're glad to be back and get back to work going to canada and the states you have to pick up tools you have to pick up little accessories that can help you with your jobs things that you can't find here in ecuador or are too expensive in ecuador so I just want to show you a quick preview of all the things that I got and then I'll show you one by one each one. Later on I'll be taking them out and showing you how they work. I'll give you my opinion on them. Maybe you can compare with your opinion and see if they're really worth buying. So as I said this is going to be a very quick preview. I'll just show you briefly the things that I bought and we'll zero in one by one. Okay we'll start in the corner here. I finally got myself um, an electric uh, hand planer which will be very nice, especially for longer projects and, and for putting things together, like uh, uh, assembling larger pieces or platforms. Those will be nice. A couple of extra blades that I bought as well, just to go with that. I also bought a Makita circular saw, corded. Sometimes you need the extra power for other projects. Uh, I have a, a battery-operated uh, Milwaukee, but sometimes it's just not strong enough for what I need. Coming over here, I got a beautiful set of Forstner bits all the way from one quarter up to two and one eighth. Anyone who's used Forstner bits knows that they make beautiful clean cut holes. Uh, here, some of you might not even know what this is. It's called a protractor. It's used for measuring miter angles to get perfect angles on corners for molding or for crown molding. It, it's beautiful. I used it in Canada while I was there. Got perfect angles every time. Okay, moving over. This is called a joint mate. Anyone who uses dowels will know that sometimes it's difficult to line up your holes for perfect joints. This is a help for that. I, I really haven't used it before. I'm looking forward to using it to seeing how it works. In the back, I picked up a couple of these, um, what they call quick squares or speed squares as well. Okay, over here, uh, I bought this set of self-centering drill bits, which helps a lot in centering your hinges on doors. And I've got uh, an assortment of router bits. This is just a plain and simple chamfer bit, but this keyhole bit will help me quite a bit for hanging some of my projects on the walls. You know I like to do cutting boards, so, so this 90 degrees groove bit will be very nice. And I got a four pack of these roundover bits from one quarter to one inch. Moving over, I got a whole bunch of these spade drill bits, which are very nice. These new spider, everybody is raving about these spider bits because they are very fast, like you can see, 20 times faster, and they last 10 times longer. We'll see if that's really the case. Over here, I bought uh, something for cleaning out mortise and tenon. Uh, just before you put something together, sometimes you have to clean out. So this is sort of like a, a file that goes into the hole and cleans out, you attach to your drill. I got some impact drivers here, or impact uh, bits. And I got these um, countersink drill bits for the projects, you know, when you need to use screws in a project and not just dowel bits, these help to hide the screws. Over here, well, I got uh, three extra blades for my new saw, and I got three extra blades for my old six and a half inch saw. Very important music for my shop. And in the back, these are some accessories. Um, I want to get into furniture that you can take apart and move around. So I got these insert nuts that I'm going to start using on some projects, not all, but on some projects. Uh, also got these tie down straps for my car. I bought uh, a number of mechanisms for our lazy Susans, which will make them a lot uh, more stable. And finally, trusted and true, love type bond products. So I got this, uh, I just bought a couple of liters of this or a couple of quarts of this. And this is the first time I've tried this quick and thick. I tried it in Canada already and I loved it. It only has certain specific applications, but when you need it, it's beautiful. So what do you think? Ah, it's not much, but I am looking forward to opening this, these packages up or starting these new tools and seeing what they're like. And I will make sure that when I open each one or when I start using each one, I'll make a quick review of it so that you can see if it's worth buying for your case or if you want to compare to others and see what they think of these tools as well. Great. Have a great week, you guys.